Hi everyone, welcome to my review of Hayao Miyazaki's My Neighbor Totoro in 1988. Here is the Blu-ray, and here we are, um, another anim animated review. Of course, um, I've not done quite, you know, kind of as much animated reviews um, recently. Um, just haven't been watching too many, um, you know. But of course, that's going to change, um, and of course, I'll get back to more Disney ones again and, and try and review all of them. Really, um, and of course, kickstart it again, you know, with, with, a, with a Studio Ghibli film, um, the first one to review on this channel. Um, um, and really the most um, long-spirited way and, and stuff, really the most overall most loved. Um, you could say Mononoke as well is up there. Um, and yes, I've seen all three of them. Um, I started in 2016. Um, I've heard so much great things about um, you know these films. Miyazaki in particular, um, you know, of course, who is the most famous um, you know, kind of creator, director, um, you know, writer and stuff behind this studio. Um, of course, I've also seen Nausicaa and stuff. Um, I really... I think Miyazaki, um, you know, I'll say it now, is one of the very best directors of all time, um, a true genius, uh, and actually only, for me overall, Ozu um, is better in terms of, you know, Japanese um, filmmakers, really is um, a, d a definite second, um, I think, so far for me personally, um, quite controversial, I do think Miyazaki is actually better than Kurosawa, um, yes, he's that good, and I love Kurosawa, but, but for Miyazaki, you know, is kind of um, very, very high in that kind of around that top 10 mark, um, you know, directors for me um, so far. And, and yes, basically, um, this film, I saw this after Spirited Away. I saw Spirited Away in 2016, um, and things changed, it really did, um, once I saw that film. That really, um, that was something else. Um, and this is actually the second film um, in the kind of Studio Ghibli, um, you know, kind of collection and stuff that, that I saw. Um, second Miyazaki as well, of course. Um, and yes, um, you know, I, I saw it, I'd heard so much great things about it. Um, it's, it's kind of a, a very, very acclaimed family film, um, and it just basically tells, you know, um, Setsuki um, and Mei, um, basically is two two children, um, and they're, they're kind of uh, with their dad and stuff, uh, and they're going to, to kind of live rural Japan, post-war, uh, and stay in this place while their mother recovers in hospital, um, you know, and kind of, um, it does explore other things, you know, and, and stuff, and they go to school, uh, the older sister, of course, of course, goes to the score at some point in the, in the film uh, later on, but yes, it's basically, um, you know, of course, and it's kind of around half an hour before you actually see the main, of course, mascot, you could say, um, you know, of, of Totoro, um, but yes, basically, it builds this up, uh, and it's the story of this, it's very, very simple, it's kind of not, doesn't do it justice to kind of describe this, um, but that's the basic plot, they stay there, and they kind of, they, they see this kind of, they come into contact with these woodland creatures, um, especially May very early on, you know, and people at first, you know, don't kind of believe her, and then they do. And yes, you know, I think um, it kind of just unravels very, very, uh, you know, kind of gradually. Um, and it's just a very, very simple um, on, on the surface story of childhood, um, of wonder, um, you know, and just fantasy, of course, elements in there. Um, and it really is just, um, of course, very moving as well, you know, with, with the mother's uh, subplot. Um, and it's just it's a wonderful film, it really is. Um, for me, it's one of the very best films ever made, and um, it really, once again, you know, I thought Spirit Away, um, you know, it's hard to top that, and yeah, I don't think this topped Spirit Away, that there's a spoiler for that review, um, but for me, it's a wonderful film, it really is. Um, overwhelmed with emotion, um, with just charm, um, energy, and it's just one of the most lovely films um, I've ever seen. Um, second view now, of course, and what a film, what what a, a perfect film um, for me, it really is. It's one of the best animated films. Just one of my favourite 100 films of all time. Um, yeah, that good, um, I think. So that probably means, yes, the, the second, my second favourite film that I have actually reviewed um, this year, you know, 2019. So yes, that's quite quite some feat. I've been watching some great films recently, um, but this one is just one of the most magical films. That's hard to describe. Um, Really, all of Miyazaki films, um, you know, and stuff, and, and, and yes, of course, this one's very rooted in reality and grounded, um, but it has got, as the film goes on, um, more fant fantasy elements in there, very fantastical, um, towards the end especially, um, and yes, it's just truly wonderful, I think, um, it's just very, very easy to into this, um, these characters, very, very relatable, and you just see them kind of going about, um, kind of messing about at times, um, the father um, as well, you know, it's just... Such a kind of charming, um, a kind of jolly film um, at first, um, and then of course, as the film goes on, there's, there's maybe some dark elements in there, you know, the stuff of the mother, but it is it is mainly it's one of the most um, you could say really the most light-hearted uh, Miyazaki film that I've seen, um, even 
probably even more so, maybe Ponyo actually could be that, but yeah, I think definitely um, for the most part this one, um, it really is, it's not, you know, a film that, you know, like Mononoke is very, very dark at times, it's a lot more, a lot more mature in many aspects, of course, very violent and stuff, um, this one is very different, and it is more of a family film, um, and just, just wonderful, it really is, um, this is one of the most creative films, um, it's very simple at first, um, you know, and then when the fantasy elements comes into it, um, just the world building, um, Miyazaki geniusly, um, you know, kind of creates, he creates this world, um, this wonderful, magical world, um, but, you know, of course, the reality, the, the rooted in reality um, theme that he does, it really is something else, you know, you get reeled in and then you believe in it so much, um, and of course, the characters, you know, they are kind of just relatable, everyday kids um, kind of thing, um, it's a very, very charming film, um, and it's just, it's so cute, especially May, um, it just really is, it's, just such a wonderful film um, and then of course um, it's just thrilling it's you know it's got great comedy in the film as well um, there's, there's so many moments that are just hilarious um, really awesome it's probably one of the most funniest um, animated films um, you could say it really is um, and of course the interaction between um, the woodland creatures uh, and of course the two two sisters in particular um, you know especially May um, it's just lovely I think in this film, really, um, every frame um, Miyazaki creates um, is just something that adds to this world. Um, it's all world building. It's all something that kind of adds to the experience. And again, you know, I think the animation, um, you know, Japanese animation, it's really amazing. I think, um, you know, it's not like um, any other animation that's kind of, it, of course, it's not, um, you know, completely smooth um, for, the, for the most part. And that is actually something that in this case uh, is a benefit. I think actually it, it feels like you kind of um, like kind of like low frame rate um, films, like maybe Mad Max. Um, you know, and kind of compared to a lot of modern action films, um, it makes you feel the weight of everything, and it kind of makes it feel more real uh, and just immersive uh, and stuff. And yes, I think it really is uh, wonderful. You know, it's got beautiful animation, um, the colours, um, the whole, just how beautiful. You know, the scenery. Um, it's kind of just. It really is wonderful, it's magical this film, um, and of course these two, uh, just in general these characters are um, just very very realistic and kind of uh, charming, relatable characters um, that kind of you, you root for um, and you get drawn into this world, um, and of course the very very gradual um, introduction of the fantasy elements, uh, you know, it's perfect build up, the atmosphere, the tone that's created, um, of course is very very light hearted of course and energetic, um, and yes, it's kind of it just really is um, it's so much fun um, and then of course you see these wonderful um, designs on these creatures um, the cat bus of course as well really amazing I, it's just genius that the creations um, here Miyazaki really is it's just some someone to kind of um, to really marvel at uh, of course I look forward to seeing the remaining ones I've only got a few left um, to see of Miyazaki including the wind rises um, you know you know and stuff and um, really look forward to that one it's a bit more divisive um, but so was How's Moving, How's Moving Castle, and of course, um, I love that film um, so much, and yes, I just think I've never really been disappointed with um, any of his films, uh, and this one is one of the very best um, Studio Ghibli films for me, I think, um, it's just every single, every second of this film, um, it's just such a perfect narrative, although it's not very traditional um, in its narrative, it's very, very uh, loose, you could say, um, but again, it's all about world building, it's all about, um, you know, the simplicity of it, um, you know, the kind of the things that are littered throughout, um, you know, happen, and of course the gradual introduction, um, you know, of fantasy, and obviously you've got this kind of very, very emotional, um, you know, kind of compelling, uh, you know, plot with, with a mother, um, and it's just, it's so human, uh, this film, I find that of all the Miyazaki films, so human, um, you know, films that of course, again, he, he mixes reality, um, he blends it with fantasy perfectly, um, you know, he's one of the greatest world builders for me of all time, um, up there really with, with Tolkien as well, um, in terms of this, you know, fantasy, um, it really is, um, this film, an absolutely perfect one, um, and it just goes above and beyond, the spiritual level in this film, um, it's something else, I just think, um, it, it's such a, a joyous film, um, it is emotional at times, but again, it's not, you know, like Mononoke or, or Spirited Away, um, you know, in that sense, but it really means a lot to me, so much, um, I can just watch this film, over and over, uh, there's so much comfort in this film, um, you know, and just um, childlike wonder. Uh, it really is a nostalgic film, um, and it just, you know, just the way that they they see the kind of um, the fantasy um, 
you, you see it through a ch child's eyes, um, which is just much more just magical, I think. Um, it's perfect, you know. Miyazaki kind of really always is protagonist, really, are, are child, um, you know, kind of characters. Um, and I think it's just the perfect way to introduce fantasy, um, you know, to the viewer, um, really. And, of course, the sense of wonder in this film um, is almost unmatched. Um, it really is. And I just think every single frame is really beautiful to look at. It says something about humanity. It's, um, you know, it's, it's world-building mastery. Um, and, of course... The music in this film, um, you know, really is just its just one of the best um, scores of all time. And of course, Joe Hisashi, um, you know, just for me, one of the best composers of all time. Um, he has done so many of the scores um, for Studio Ghibli films. Of course, Miyazaki, you know, Nausicaa, um, Mononoke, you know, just Spirited Away, How's Moving Castle. They are all so amazing. Um, but some of these, you know, are some of the very best, for me, film scores of all time. Um, the beauty in them. The sense of wonder, um, just in the score alone, um, and the way, of course, it's used, is operatic, it's monumental, it really is, um, especially his best work, including this, um, really is, and of course, yes, just beautiful, um, so emotional, um, and just serene, it really is the music he, he, work, he, he portrays, of course, and just in, in tune so much with, with the narrative of this film, the characters, um, all the emotions, you know, the kind of, um, the different points in the film, um, yes, it's a loose narrative, but it has got the kind of, um, the moments in, in films, of course, that are, you know, satisfying, and of course, the struggle. And yes, it's just um, a wonderful climax um, to the film as well. Um, it really is just an uplifting one. This film is not, you know, something that is truly sad or anything like that. Um, it is very, very lighthearted. It's a family film. But actually, because it's so um, joyous and so pure for me, it, you know, it's highly emotional. Um, you know, it brings me to tears. And, and of course, the end in sort of 10 minutes, um, really, really um, emotional there. I just think just in the way it's so beautiful um, kind of and human and kind of just um, the moments, of course, you know, where, just, where they fly, of course, and, and stuff. It's just so good. Um, it really is wonderful, wonderful film, um, of course. Yes, you know, this is just one of the best animated films, one of the best films of all time. Um, you know, I think I reviewed Akira recently. I think this is better than Akira. Um, it's one of the best Japanese films for me that I've seen, um, along with a couple of other Miyazaki's as well, um, being in my top 100. Um, find out what they are. On the reviews, of course, um, there's a few in there um, for sure. One of them actually definitely top 50 for me. Um, so, yes, I look forward to reviewing them. I won't be doing them, you know, kind of in order um, necessarily, but yeah, I think I will be doing all these films at uh, some point. Um, I, of course, I look forward to, to picking off, you know, kind of picking up the rest of the, the ones I've not got, you know, buying them, um, adding them to my collection and watching them. Um, and of course, re-watching, um, you know, the ones that I have seen. This guy is a genius. Um, the creativity in this film, the energy, um, the patience though as well. Um, it takes us time to build the world, um, to kind of subtly introduce us to the characters and the kind of, the overall story, um, although it's very, very loose narrative, um, you know, it is such a one, a satisfying one, um, a one that where the emotions, um, you know, just kind of build and build, and you know, that final ten minutes is just um, overwhelmed with kind of joy uh, and and stuff, and it really is a magical film. Um, the fantasy in this film um, could not have been better. It is perfect for me. Um, I think the music um, is otherworldly um, and it's just something you know a lot of people maybe don't like fantasy um, you know because they like you know films that portray reality more um, I think the best films um, you know even even films that aren't you know at all fantasy you know on the surface I th you know I think um, even the Godfather films they are fantastical I think the best films combine reality um, with fantasy to create something really yeah that only cinema can do um, you know and it kind of makes you believe in this case, you know, something that, you know, it's just, it is fantasy, but of course it's so rooted in reality, it's so grounded, um, it's so believable and relatable, you know, the characters, um, it just is perfect in its execution, um, its themes, you know, very, very few and, and kind of simple themes, um, but they're so powerful in the way that they're kind of, um, you know, all the elements really of storytelling, um, especially visually, are perfected here. Um, and of course it just allows us to kind of, um, you know, be, be kind of whisked away to this world, um, and it's just wonderful, peaceful film, um, you know, just the location, of course, rural Japan, and it's just wonderful um, portrayal of the culture, um, and just um, all the side characters, even, um, you know, the, gran the granny um, that, that kind of comes by, and, you know, the other the kind of, um, the one, the 
boy as well that kind of um, is involved in, in one of the sisters. It just really is, all the characters kind of have a place um, and they're all kind of charming characters. Um, I love the kind of, I just love how kind of um, exaggerated the animation is of course uh, as well in kind of anime in general, but you know, just Miyazaki films, um, I love it, you know, I think as well. The Creature of Totoro, um, one of the very best um, creature designs in cinema um, and it's just so kind of simple, um, but again, just genius in its simplicity um, and it's just, Miyazaki really achieves, um, you know, the mastery of simplicity, perfection of simplicity um, in cinema more than most directors, um, most filmmakers, I think. He is one of the very best, um, you know, he's a genius and I think this is one of his very best films uh, and one of the best films ever made. Um, for me, of course, it gets full marks. Um, no denying that, I think, um, yes, yeah, some people don't think this is, you know, great. You know, I think um, some people say, you know, it's a bit too simple, it's, it's not really, you know, that that engaging and stuff and it's just kind of, um, it's too light-hearted. Um, but I think that is really um, its strength, you know, I think it's just a, a simple story, you know, on the surface, um, but one that is so perfect in its execution, it's so magical and warm and kind of um, charming and one that you can, it just really brings comfort to me. Um, I, I'll be able to watch this, you know, constantly and just really return, look forward to returning to this film um, because of how confident it is. Um, and yes, it does make me very emotional as well. Um, I got invested in everything in this film. And of course, it is in my plus tiers, um, you know, and is it is it a tier three, is it a tier two? Um, well, actually, it's a tier one. Um, of course, it's in my top 100 films. Um, it's, it's one of the best films ever made for me personally. And yes, I think actually there's at least um, one more film for me. Um, that's what I say that I do prefer from Miyazaki, at least one film, um, you know, and, and people can maybe, you know, come to you know, guess on that, but I think, um, you know, that's, that's a no, that's a no brainer for me, my, in, you know, my personal preference. Um, but this film is absolutely stunning. It really is a remarkable work of cinema. Um, and it's just, I'm obsessed, um, you know, with Miyazaki films, and this is just one of the purest films I've ever seen. Um, it's lovely, it really is a lovely film. Um, it really just speaks, to the soul, um, to the heart, and it's just, it's something, I don't see how anyone could hate this film. Um, it's, it's too kind of, um, I don't know, it's just, it's just kind of, how can you hate this film? It's just really, a, it's just lovely, a wonderful film, um, it really is, and it's something you can relate to, um, you know, of course, it's full of wonder, um, as I've said, childhood innocence, perfectly portrayed, um, brings me back to my childhood, um, and it's just lovely, warm family film um, that has, you know, has its kind of, it's moving moments, um, but mostly it is a joyous film um, that perfectly portrays um, humanity, it really does, and um, the culture of Japan as well. Wonderful film, um, perfect, absolutely perfect. There's, there's no flaws for me in this film, um, and of course, highly recommend it if you've not seen it. Um, if you're kind of into anime, uh, you know, most people have probably seen this film. Um, it's one of the most, you know, universally loved um, animated films in general. Um, I think it is a masterpiece. One of the best films ever made, um, and I cannot wait to review the rest of Miyazaki's work um, and just, you know, Studio Ghibli films um, in general as well. Um, you know, of course, Grave of Fireflies as well, um, Kaguya. Um, wow, they are they are something else as well. But this film um, is just a pure piece of cinema. Um, but you know, I just think I always look forward to, to returning to this film. Um, and yes, highly highly recommend it. Um, for me. It's wonderful, this film, uh, and yes, thanks for watching my review.